So right now we're gonna go over how to apply adhesive. The, yeah, the, the glue, that's how we're saying those ones. The glue. <laughs> the glue. How are we gonna glue the blocks? And this product and this new uh, system that was developed by TechnoSeal is the best. You know why? Because you can block, you can wet it. Like the stones can be wet and the, the glue will still stick it to it. So Felix is gonna go over with us right now. How do you actually do this in a, in a decent way? All right, guys. Well, first of all, thank you, Bruno, for having me here. So today, obviously, we built pavers um, and we're gonna do polymeric sand in a little bit once we install some of the wall here. But in today's climate right now, obviously it's wet weather uh, and it shuts down jobs. And so one of the biggest value of using this adhesive over your typical adhesive, tube adhesive, these types of tube adhesives is this will not stick to the actual block, which yeah. is causing time for you guys in the field not be able to finish your job. So this one can this one can, not only can you install it on wet surfaces, but this one can is actually 20 of these tubes, yeah. okay? So we're gonna show you the advantage of this right now. Number one, big advantage is obviously stones are wet, right? So typical cases, you wouldn't be able to do that. So simply just grab a can of adhesive. You're gonna gently screw it on here. Do not cross thread it, because that will make a mess. So gently screw it on, okay? I got it all screwed on nug and then so now you have a bead control so be very careful with this because this thing will spray up to that wall over here so you want to make sure that you turn it down and then find the bead that you want to do so I'm gonna just squirt here on the floor first so see how it comes out as we're going through, so I'm gonna adjust ball. a little bit a little bit wider okay so now I found my bead right that's the most important because you don't want to just start opening this can and just blow it everywhere so most people do two, two rows, like uh -huh. two, two beads. You can do two beads, you can do one ziggly. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just put it like this. So three -eighths, a three-eighths bead will go about 600 linear feet roughly, okay? So you are done. So now you can start laying blocks. And the other advantage of this adhesive it dries really, really fast. So it dries in about eight minutes. So you've got to also understand, can't go too far because yeah. once you start laying these blocks, once those blocks dry, they're dry. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and lay blocks. Sure. Let's lay the blocks over so here. So like I said, see how some of these stones are actually wet? That actually helps accelerate the actual curing process. So full cure on this is about 24 hours. It starts drying in about eight minutes. Okay. So Felix, uh, go over like, how, how, what's the perfect timing? Like you don't want to pass, is it a minute after you spray or two minutes after you spray? Honestly, like, it depends on the climate, but here's the thing. If you want this, this glue to actually stay uh, wet or longer, it's better to wet, so like on very hot days, we actually recommend wetting your stones first. Oh wow, so okay. actually like uh, washing down the dust that usually comes yes. in the pollen. Yes, so like I said, you can actually use this in wet climates. Uh, the other, dis um, the other uh, disadvantage of using these tube adhesives is when you're doing columns and you're, and you're putting the, the brick on, the bricks start moving. Yeah. This you stuff doesn't it. move. And the other reason why this is pretty strong is this does not leave air pockets in between the stones. So, so some of the things that are, the, some of the disadvantages of this is because some of these blocks are not always perfect. So you need to mm -hmm. use actual shims with this adhesive. So, and that's what makes those types of adhesive, the tube adhesives a lot more weaker because it leaves uh, air pockets in between the stone. Okay. Got it. So, so now, after I do the first layer, like how long do I need to wait before we can do another layer? Oh, immediately. Right on top. Uh, there's no delaying. So the only thing before you keep going is making sure that everything is nice and level for you, uh -huh. right? Which you've yeah. already leveled the first yeah, course. first quarter. So good. now I just simply go again. Second level, okay. <laughs> Ready? Sure. And see how much faster that is? Yeah. I mean, just imagine if you're using a tube adhesive, pump, 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 pump. Yeah. There is no pump in here. It's much faster. So traditionally, I see guys doing this, right? Uh-huh. One line. And then a second line. So whatever you're comfortable with doing, same thing. Got you. But either way will work fine, right? Either way product, works fine. Because the product's so good. So see how this right here is 
foaming up right here. Yep. There's also a cleaner that I'm gonna show you guys that you need to perform to clean this gun out, okay? Yep. So this, this cleaner, there's a little spray attachment to it. And so let's just say I'm done for the day, right? I'm done. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna just clean that off. That's good. And put it away, okay? So right now, the worst thing you want to do is take this apart. Okay. You do not take it apart. You just close this down, close it off, and then put it somewhere save. and save it for the next job. Okay? So you don't need to replace the bead at all? No. You don't, you don't take this can off okay. at all. So you leave it on, you turn this valve off, and put it away. You're not going to put this in the middle of the sun, but you just put it away, right? Now, let's just say because we're going to keep going, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to So let's going. just say that this can is empty. Now we are done. Then you take it apart, okay? So let's pretend that we just took it off. So right now we're going to pretend we, we're, we're going to use this other gun right here. So, so we just took it off, right? That can is empty, right? So now let's clean this gun. So now, pretend this has glue in it, okay? Uh, so now we're gonna we're gonna put the cleaner on here. Uh, how many have we there? One more. Yeah, but this is not, this is gonna. Happen. Yeah, it's okay. Spray it to all the old glues out. Okay, to all the glues out. Now the gun is clean. So I'm gonna go back to my I wiggly way. It. Right? Want to cut Anybody want to try this? Anybody want to try? Yeah. Anybody? Come on, Ozzy. All right. Kevin, come over, guys. I don't even know what I'm doing, but legally, wait. Wow, what are you doing? Wow. Oh, Keep going. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, not to the edge. Oh. Okay. So you want to stay, uh, yes. usually we stay about uh, one inch from the edges. So we yes. don't want to go too And so that's the other thing about this adhesive. You want to make sure you stay within. Um, and if you do have some that bleed out, spray the, spray the cleaner on it. So it cleans it up. So basically, it'll eat it up when it's wet. Okay. You have the cleaner, maybe we can try right here. If it's full, I don't think it's going to clean it. But if it does, we can try it. Yeah. What not to do? <laughs> what not to do? You got this. It's going to drip. All right, it dripped. Oh. Yeah. So leave it there. Leave it there. We want to see that one. That's perfect. Spray that. So. Spray it. It'll eat right it up. Now, yeah, go ahead and spray it. It'll eat it up. So just like this? Yep, spray it. No, no, no. It's like a regular spray. All right, let's see what happens when you drip on it. Yeah. Keep going. It'll eat it up. You just spray that. It'll eat it up. And that's it. Keep going a little Keep bit Keep going more. a little more. So no rug, no nothing. Well, you obviously you want to make sure. That's why it's very careful that you, uh -huh. you find your bead and you have control of this. Okay. Um, you can put it right there. Do we clean it after with anything or just no, let it dry? No, just let it dry. Okay. Thanks, bro. <laughs> and so you tell me you don't need too much glue on there either as well, right? It's pretty strong. Yeah. So what we're doing right now is basically showing that even underwater, this stain will grow. Yeah, so let that sit for a little bit. We'll okay. come back on check on that. Sure. Okay. So now this gets you the point where now our clients sometimes they'll ask us, I would like to add some lighting into my wall. Yes. Right? Now explain it to me as we, as we run the low voltage wire through this and we apply the glue for the last stone, mm -hmm. does that affect anything at all? No. Should be no. fine. As long as you keep your, uh, well, obviously some guys will etch it so that way it hides the wire completely, keeps yeah. it, doesn't mess with your level. Uh -huh. But no, absolutely not. You can actually put this. Sure. The only thing is, like I said, is knowing your time, once you lay the glue down, you mm -hmm. only have a certain amount of workability. Got you, got you. You don't good. need to be a mason. If you know how to use a caulking gun, you can lay some stone. Okay, so it comes in a box, comes with parts. Um, here's a gun. So it's called sticky stone. So it basically comes with, uh, you didn't have a little table, but. So basically, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cock back the gun. Hold that for me. 
Okay? There is no mixing. It's basically ready to use. It comes in a sausage casing just like this. All right? Very similar to a thing of chorizo, but it's not. Okay? <laughs> it's a <chorizo>. so, <laughs> so, so you're basically going to put, insert the actual sausage, the adhesive, and then see there's a little, uh, a little clip here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we need something to snip this. Okay, a scissor. To open it. Uh, there we go. You always want to insert it first before you actually open it so to avoid any mess. And so really right now all I'm going to do is just create a hole. So you're going to notice that it comes with these tips and see how very small that is. It will not come out of here. So depending on this actual stone or how heavy it is and determine how light your stone is, you want to cut this to the proper bead size. So this one I'm going to probably cut about three-eighths of an inch off of this so that way the adhesive comes out. Uh -huh. So um, I'd say cut probably somewhere around there. Okay. Okay. Right there. there yeah, angle straight or down. straight? Straight, straight right. down. Yep. That's good. <clears throat> so basically what we did is we cut it so that way it allows the glue out. Who has the collar? All right, then you basically insert the tip right back into the collar, push it right back down. So that was my mixing. I have no mixer here. Uh, so you don't even need to take more, just, just the metal thing, that's it, right? That's it. Okay. So now I'm ready to go, okay? So let's, let's, get a, uh, let's get a veneer. So see you got a piece of uh, type of veneer here. And so what you're going to do is put vertical beads about every three to four inches apart. So I'm going to get this, pump this all out, and I'm going to put a vertical bead every three to four inches once I can get it to come out. There we go. One, two, three. And the reason why we do vertical is because we, wanna, we don't want to trap any moisture. And notice how I push this and it releases the pressure so that way it won't keep uh, coming, coming out. out. Okay, can you hold that good. for me? Sure. So now I got my stone, right? My stone here. And we're going to put this on wood. This will work on wood. It works on drywall and it works on masonry. And even if your customer did not the, didn't like the way that finished, I can actually stick it to that if I want. Yeah. But for the, for the demo purposes, normally, you would start laying stone from the bottom, right? Yeah. But I want to show you the power of the grab of this product. I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to push firmly, and I'm done. That's it. OK. And like I said, I explained earlier the reason why we do vertical beads is we want to allow water to go through this. OK. Mm -hmm. So now if you're doing barbecue islands with, uh, with metal studs, this will go right to it. So for retaining walls, um, the only prep work you want to do for retaining walls is making sure that you actually waterproof the back. Gotcha. But it doesn't require anything else. No prep work, no nothing. So if you got block walls, you're building a, 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 a kitchen island, right? You can stick this right to block. Okay? And um, so if you want, you want me to stick some to that sure, block Sure, yeah. Right let's there? take a look if, you know, if it is a regular wall, a concrete okay. wall, what happens? So um, the opposite of this one right here, we cannot lay this stuff on something that's wet. Okay? okay. With a structure bond, yes. But with sticky stone, you cannot lay anything that's on wet. So this is a little damp here, but we'll give it a shot. Go ahead and do every four inches. <laughs> okay? Yeah. And then, uh, now, like you said, this can be sticked to any surface as long yes. as it's dry, metal, Yes. Wood, concrete, whatever the case may be, yep. right? Even inside drywall. Okay. Okay. The, the thing about drywall, guys, is that obviously um, if you get up there and pull it, it's going to rip the paper off, yes. right? Yes, yes. So um, whatever it sticks to is only going to be as strong as whatever it adheres to. Gotcha. Okay. So in this case, you got a bigger piece. So we're going to go ahead and stick it to right here. Same thing, didn't move, <sighs> done. So there you go. That's amazing. So again, guys, uh, I'm just showing you the power that it has. Uh, so, but imagine starting from the bottom. So typically, like I said, when you're laying this product, you, you wanna start it. at the bottom yeah. and you're gonna lay your first course and then stack as much as you want on top, okay? Um, you always wanna get the first course. If it's suspended in air, let it sit for about 15 minutes. If it's suspended in air, but if it's supported from the ground, which most, 
most veneer stone goes, you can go as fast as you and want. And how long will it take this to dry, Felix? Uh, so this will this will cure within a day. But if you want to try, obviously if you if you pull it, uh -huh. it's going to probably come off. But try tugging on it and just to see how much power it has already. Yeah, look, you can almost lift up the whole plywood thing. It's it's already yeah. it's already. So you have it. a little bit of little bit of flexibility with this, yeah. but um, once it's set, it's done. It's done. It's done. And this can go, let's say, I know we have the gun for, for the, you know, the, the, the super bond, right? Yeah. Uh, the but, then, but then, uh, let's say if I want to use this same product on the wall, that would work too, right? So these two products are totally different. Okay. So hand me that. So this stuff is for wall building. Uh -huh. This one right here. Just surface. This one right here is for vertical for sticking. Uh -huh. I have guys that love this stuff for caps, but you're, in my opinion, you're just wasting money because this technology is designed to stick uh -huh. vertically wise. Okay. So the other one is designed for gotcha. a linear, linear okay. wise. Okay. Uh, so this, the only other thing is, you obviously saw the, all the adhesive in here, right? So the only thing you want to do if, if you're done is let it come out a little bit it's going to self seal. So when you're ready for the next job, you just basically pull that out and ready to go again. I like that. Okay, yeah. you're ready to go again. So now, when I'm done, that's it. How, okay? How many, how many square feet of saw is it? Good question. So the, the, the square foot is going to really depend on how heavy the stone is and how big the stone is. Mm -hmm. So on average, you're going to get anywhere from, I'm going to go from the lowest to the highest, between 10 to 25 square feet per tube. Okay, again, most masons of the world, they look at that, ah, no, I like doing my old fashioned way with a wheelbarrow, right. uh, thin set or whatever. But honestly, for you guys in the backyard that you're not, no one's like, you know, skilled, this is easy. This is easier, yeah. Definitely very easy, easier. very clean too. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time when you're doing with mud, mortar and all that, you're leaving a mess everywhere. Yeah. You could use this interior and exterior. The only area you do not want to use this is inside of a firebox. Okay. Okay, but. Fireplace, no problem. So on the outside, not on the inside. Yes. So let's say if I want to build a, I don't know, a fire pit out of Westing Wall from yes. Algarve. You can veneer the outside. We can do it, no yep. problem. What about the metal? The inside, no. The inside, inside no. the firebox, no. Okay, so I can essentially use uh, the bond to do uh, the, the round fire yes. pit, but then uh, for the outside, then I can use this, but not the inside. Yes, yeah, not the saying. inside. All right. Correct. Even if I'm doing this on bricks, because usually bricks are meant to be made out of clay. So you could do everything in the exterior part, but nothing in the interior. Gotcha. Okay, that's good.